Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Day after the big, uh, big women's march in New York City. Wow. I'm all womaned out, right? So you saw that yesterday. It's a good, uh, this is a follow up on uh, that. And uh, how do I look? <laughs> I'm a little tired. I got caught in the rain a little while ago. It was like a fucking soaking wet, freezing cold rain. I'm fucking shivering. I'm fucking tired, man. So let's start off with a reading. There was a deadly silence. Amazed, terrified, huddled together, the animals watched a long line of pigs march slowly around the yard. It was as though the world had turned upside down. Then came a moment when the first shock had worn off them. In spite of everything, in spite of their terror of the dogs and of the habit developed through long years of never complaining, never criticizing, no matter what happened, they might have uttered some word of protest. But just at that moment, as there was signal, all the sheep bursted out into tremendous bleeding of four legs good, two legs bad, four legs good, two legs bad. It went on for about five minutes without stopping. And by the time the sheep had quieted down, the chance to utter any protest had passed. For the pigs had marched back into the farmhouse. Benjamin felt the nose nuzzling at his shoulder. He looked, he looked around. It was Clover. Her eyes, were, or were, her eyes looked dimmer than ever. Without saying anything, she gently tugged at his mane and led him around to the end of the big barn, where the seven commandments were written. For a moment or two, they stood gazing at the tarred wall with its white lettering. My sight is failing, she said finally. Even when I was young, I could not have read what was there. But it appears to me that the wall looks different. Are the seven commandments the same as they used to be, Benjamin? <clears throat> For once, Benjamin consented to breaking his rule of silence, and he read out to her what was written on the wall. There was nothing there except a single commandment. It read, All animals are equal. But some animals are more equal than others. After that, it, seemed, it didn't seem strange when the next day the pigs who were supervising the work on the farm all carried whips in their trotters. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, well. It's like as if, we're, it's like as if everything has already been said. Right? So what is Orwell talking about? He's talking about gaslighting. He's talking about how the, the animals... In their in their dear heart of hearts, they believe in the in the in the principles of Animal Farm, right? And they were willing to follow their leaders, and the leaders become corrupt, and the leaders start to change the rules to their liking. They become more equal than the the less equal, the the the, the smaller animals, right? So, what does that have to do with a parade? You saw the animals on display. That's Jones's farm. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, the people, the women at that march are Jones's farm. And who is gaslighting them? Who are their rulers? Well, there's their employers, yes. But overall, the big uh, uh, one above it is the corporate media, right? The corporately owned media that promotes a false narrative to the sleepy masses. And in there, you saw the objective was to convince... The sleepy masses, at least half of them, the ones with, you know, the vaginas, right? <laughs> half of the room, right? All the women to, to weaponize women against white men, who Trump happens to be one of, and who they venomously despise, openly discriminate against the white male, right? So that was, uh, and that's what you saw, and, uh, and that's what uh, mainstream media goes around the clock uh, promoting that narrative. So if you don't see anything else but the mainstream media, you then think that, oh, well, that's, it's quite normal. So let me, let me read the, uh, I'll just read off the definitions of what am I talking about? Yes, yeah, so it's very important. Because I, I, I've come from a background where I was, uh, I was a sanitation enforcement agent, and I experienced gaslighting in the workplace. I, ex I exposed a quota. I was a, 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 a whistleblower. And I experienced the process of being, being attacked, encirclement attacks. That's a long story. And that, you know, if, if you have some time, watch some of my older videos and you'll see it. But gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation that seeks to sow seeds of doubt 
in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group, making them question their own memory, perception, and sanity, using persistent denial, misdirection, contradiction, and lying in attempts to destabilize the victim and delegitimize the victim's belief. Right? It's a form of abuse. Right? It's it's straight up. It's straight up. You might as well be abusing them, right? So, so how do they operate, right? Here's some other stuff I'm reading from psych Psychology Today. They tell blatant lies. You know it's an outright lie, yet they are telling you this lie with a straight face. Right? Mainstream media. Right? Why are they Why are they so blatant? Because they're setting up precedence. Once they tell you a huge lie, you're not sure if anything they say is true. Keeping you unsteady. And off kilter is the goal. <clears throat> Two, they deny they ever said it something. They ever said something, even though you have proof. Right? Remember Hillary Clinton said it how many times? Six times to Congress. She said she didn't. Uh, what? What? Scrub? You mean with a with a with a with a cloth? Scrub the emails with a cloth? Like she lied and lied and lied. Said there was she never. She never t transferred classified information. Right? The, the, there's so much evidence to prove that Hillary Clinton. Is a fucking liar, right? right? And uh, but she denies it, even when the evidence is on the table. Uh, but they out and out deny it. It makes you start to question your reality. Maybe they never said that thing, right? right? And that's and that there was evidence in that in just the two short um, uh, interviews I did yesterday. There was evidence in the two women that I spoke to that. They were, in fact, gaslighted. One was the, the uh, example of Camilla Harris, and the other was Hillary Clinton didn't break any laws. Right? Remember those two women? They used, uh, they used what is near and dear to them as ammunition. Uh, they wear you down over time. Their actions do not match their words. They throw in positive reinforcement to, to confuse you. Oh, you're pretty good. You're a good guy. Yeah, come here. You're a good guy, right? They give you that one. They know confusion weakens people. Uh, they project their own bullshit on you. They try to align people against you. Right? So that's that's the campaign of 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 uh, gaslighting, right? And you saw the example, right? Remember yesterday when a woman from out of nowhere? See, I don't believe the elections even matter, but from out of nowhere, a woman brings up the idea of a candidate, a Democratic candidate, to beat Trump two years from now, Camilla Harris, right? Remember that? And and she said. She, and she, I said, well, why do you like her? And she said, blank face. Well, she's a black woman. As if black and woman have now become a qualification for president. Because I guess Obama, I don't, I don't know. Right? But that's now the qualification, right? See, let's not talk about policy. Let's not talk about issues. Let's not talk about about who could be better for the economy, who could lift our people out of abject poverty that we're experiencing. No, she's black and she's a woman, so that that's the end all. And she, she went on to say, well, she's a person who gets things done. Remember? Roll it, go back and watch it. And I said, well, what has she gotten done? Right? And she says, and another blank stare. I was like, well, uh, that's a good question. No, it's the question you asked, you, you suggested it, right? She, you don't even know. You don't even know why you're acting the way you are because you've been you've been gaslighted to, to believe that that the opposite of the older white man Trump, the black woman, right, is 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 better, right? It's it's ridiculous. It's just or that Clinton, the woman, when she said they they went to, they they called me out on Bernie Sanders. Oh, you're a Bernie Sanders guy. No. <laughs> In 2016, Bernie Sanders was the best pick. Now Bernie Sanders is on the, uh, you know, he's on the, he's on the, the dead car heap. You know, right on the top of the fucking dead cars, right? All the smashed down cars. I right? just put them on top. Right? What they said, she said, uh, what did she say? She, she said, oh, I said, well, how could you, you voted for Hillary Clinton? She said, I voted for Hillary Clinton. I said, well, Hillary Clinton's a liar. She couldn't win. She cheated. And she said, oh, I don't believe that. I said, well, you, know, you also don't believe that she lied six times to Congress and committed multiple felonies? And she said, no, I, I don't believe that. Have a nice day. As if, as if it didn't happen with all the evidence on the record that it did happen. So that's a form of gaslighting. So you, you then have to extend empathy to the crowd that you're looking out at. Right, sort of. Right, you have to. You, you don't. You don't go along with it, but you certainly can empathize how 
a hundred thousand or a million women marching across the country with pink pussy hats believe that that their problem will end by getting rid of the white man in the in the White House. Right? That's what they believe. Right? There's no there's no alternative. They don't realize that if you get rid of Trump, you get Pence. Right? Now they're saying get rid of Trump and Pence and you get Nancy Pelosi to run the country because she's a woman. Oh man. It's crazy, right? So all right, here's the here's the other thing, right? You guys got to get off. You know, I, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry. I take that back. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But the 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 campaign of uh, using dog whistle terms is killing this country. It's killing us. The division, right? Of using progressive, populist, capitalist, socialist, communist, conservative, liberal, right wing, left wing, moderate, centrist, and any other one that you can come up with, right? All of these terms have no meanings anymore. The only thing that means anything is what is in the best interest of the people and what, what is, is opposing the oligarchy, the monopolies, the corporations that are running our country, that have, have, have re, you know, usurped our constitution and replaced it with a corporatized uh, constitution, right? See, that's, that's, that's what, where our current uh, form of gaslighting comes from right as long as the 99 percent of the people are fighting amongst each other and not paying attention to the one percent that's stealing all the money and treasure then everything is okay right they they like that right they, they don't have any that's why corporate media doesn't have any problems starting starting fights between the clintons the the the, the clinton hold-ons and the the sanders progressive holdouts fighting with the trumps you know fighting with the trumps of the world and maybe you know, a Ted Cruz or what? Some other guy comes out of nowhere, right? They love that shit. They love that vigorous argument about nothing, about about fake elections and and elections that will never will not change a damn thing, right? Right? That's that's a form of gaslighting, you know, right? That's what it is, right? And um, right. So, I mean, you know, the the at that at that rally, there was no talk of any policy for the people instead you heard fascist misogynist sexist racist right these are all their projections onto uh as if the, the rally was an anti-trump rally it wasn't a woman's rally it was an anti-trump rally right where where a crowd has been weaponized by the media against trump you know and that's what I, i've been saying all along you don't think that a kooky a kooky woman can come along and 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 they can project all that hate and anger and propel that woman into the white house you don't think that's possible it is possible and you're seeing you're seeing it in action where how come there's not a million yellow jackets rolling down the streets of new york protesting oligarchy and monopoly and and freeing our people from corporate tyranny instead you got a bunch of crazy women screaming and yelling that uh, that their vagina is not protected right that's the state of our, our, our politics. That's, that's gaslighting par excellence. And the only way to get rid of it is to eliminate the corporations that are causing it, right? They're, they're, they, own the, they own the corporation. The corporations own the media. They're paying off the politicians. Everybody is below the corporations and the banks. Get it through your head. The banks and, and the corporations control everything below it. There's no escaping it other than to deflate them and the billionaires attached to it, right? right? That's, that's, and people have been convinced that, no, 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 because then, then, then it's not capitalism anymore. Then it's socialism or communism, right? The, the other, and every, everything stops. No, we'll wait, for, we'll wait for our elected official, the guy that we put into power to, 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 to change something, anything. You can't even get a wall, right? Nothing, right? Because of the corporations, are, they got they got the, the politicians by the balls, right? They they fucking ringing them out, right? Right? Do as I tell you. Here's the, here's thirty million dollars. Shut up and do as we tell you to do, right? Get the money out of politics, right? That's the that's the the, the number one strategy. Nothing, nothing, nothing changes until you get the money out of politics, right? So you right, and you have to jack up the corporate tax rate, deflate them and the billionaires attached to them, and then bring the thing down to size and have legitimate politicians that are not millionaires and billionaires, but they make a salary two years, four years, and they exercise the will of the people again, right? See, we have a system that works, 
right? Elections can work if the elections are fair. If, if, if one person, one vote is actually enforced in this country, we could and, and always have had integral elections and an integral a system that actually works, right? No one's advocating eliminating the, you know, the, the system of power under a constitution that we have. But, but that, that system is, has, is now broken because of the money, the, the, the influence of money in politics, right? And if you don't believe it, like, right, you keep falling for the, for the dog whistle, you know, terms, capitalism, socialism, communism, right? Fall for that, right? And look at Venezuela. Venezuela was a sovereign nation for f forever, right? And suddenly they started doing business with Russia and China. They have enormous resources under their feet. They also have enormous corruption problems in their in their country, unlike not not unlike ours, and um, you know. But if they're you know if they're not agreeing with us and following along in our system and taking marching orders from our State Department, Pompeo and and Trump and uh, you know and the rest of them, right? Um, uh, Bolton, right? Then they must be some other evil nexus of evil right like or the axis of evil or the the triad of tyranny right because they're not taking marching orders from us and they're actually they actually want to be a, a sovereign nation uh, on their own on their own accord then they're they're vilified right but meanwhile we trade with china who's a communist nation right and and that dog whistle doesn't pop up no one seems to it never seems to occur to the people that buy products from china that you're buying from a Com you're supporting communism, right? Whatever that means, it doesn't mean anything anymore, right? It doesn't mean anything anymore because countries are allowed to pick the, the process by which they govern themselves, right? But we don't have that anymore. We have, we have a form of tyranny over the people, a, a gaslighting campaign, because we have this free speech, so billion dollars is put to counter that free speech, and then people lose the power to argue anymore. So... I mean, review that review that uh, video of the women out in the street, and this will kind of make sense. And maybe we could feel a little empathy and bring them on to, uh, you know, keep talking about it and uh, and and diffuse some of the power of these uh, corporations. Marcus Conti reporting.